What's going on y'all? Welcome back to another vlog with your boy Chris. If you are new to the channel, welcome to my humble abode. If you are not new, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so that way you get notified whenever your boy drops a vlog twice a week. And let's jump into it. Let's talk about why I got into Forex trading countless years back. All right? So, let's talk about why I got into Forex trading. For those of you who don't know, we'll just go through, if you're new to the channel, we'll go through quickly a little bit of my background, my story as to why I got into trading. I got into trading back in 2013-ish. Started off with penny stocks. I went through pretty much every single market that you can imagine. I, I started doing research in 2013 around there. 2014 is when I really dove in head first, but I started in penny stocks. I went through pretty much every single market that you can imagine. I went through every roadblock, every obstacle, every up and down of the roller coaster part of the journey. Wouldn't change any of it, and I don't recommend anyone ever trying to, don't try to go from step A to step C or step A to step D or B to D, whatever. Don't try skipping any steps because one thing that you'll learn and one thing that I've learned, not just with trading, with every other aspect of life, whether it was fitness and losing weight, which I also started to do at the exact same time as well. I kind of did a, I was very unhappy in life. I was overweight. I had just came out of a pretty toxic relationship. I was figuring out and realizing very quickly who were fake people around me and who were real people around me. And obviously there was 99% of them were fake. 1% of them were real. And it was just something that I had to accept. When I had got into trading, I was super pumped and I had went and told like my closest group of friends and pretty much every single one of them mocked me. Every single one of them laughed at me. They all thought, uh, like they, they all said it was a joke. There was actually only one person one or two of them that knew that I would take it serious and, and knew how hard I worked at things that I really loved. So they knew that like I would see it through and that I would do well with it, but the rest of them just mocked me and I I, I had literally told them a few days later after that happened, I had met up met back up with all of them and like we were chilling for like five, ten minutes maybe and a few minutes after I was just like, yo honestly like this is the last time you guys are ever gonna see me again. I wish you guys all the best on your journeys, but I need to either be by myself or be with people that are gonna uplift me and push me to wanna do better and push me to do the, be the best that I can be in whatever it is that I'm doing, right? Because that's ultimately what you want for the people around you. Whether they're in the same path as you or, or the same career or the same anything, you want the people around you to be doing the best that, that they can be. You want them to be the best person that they can always be, right? So I had told them, listen, this is the last time you're gonna see me. I wish you guys all the best, but our paths and journeys are going on separate directions now so i need to go and focus on what i need to do and i need to give it 100 percent and if we ever cross paths again great if we don't then i wish you guys all the best and that's exactly what happened and i've crossed paths or spoken to one or two of them here or there just hope you're doing well blah 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 but other than that ever since then i've just i've been laser focused on myself and on people who want the best for me and i want the best for them right so I have a super small circle and that's when I had first started trading, I had cut everyone, like literally every single person off. I locked myself in my room. I was living at my mom's at the time. I had locked myself in my room. I dropped out of college, which nobody was happy about, but I had told them like, like if you're not happy, kick me out or put me on the street, do whatever you gotta do, but I'm gonna pursue what I wanna do. I'm gonna follow my heart and do something that I love and that I know I'm going to wanna do for the rest of my life, which is trading and nobody really took it serious. They, they obviously didn't kick me out and put me on the street, but they thought I was insane for dropping out of school, for leaving a nine to five. I had left a nine to five a few years prior to that. I had left a nine to five when I was around like 18-ish, somewhere around there. And I started detailing cars and just doing vinyl wrapping, stuff like that. Just jobs here and there, wherever I could get a job and someone would would give me a job or like people that I knew that were in that the automotive industry, they would pass on jobs that they didn't want to do or that they couldn't do and they would give it to me. I paid my bills, it 
that was like my first step and in journey into entrepreneurship actual entrepreneurship I had like other tastes of it when I was younger like doing garage sales or like selling stuff on the internet whatever it was so I've always been I've always had an entrepreneurial mind since I was super young age probably like 10 maybe like 8 9 10 somewhere around there I always knew that I, I was going to do something on my own I obviously just didn't know what at the time funny enough I don't think I've ever spoken about it on a vlog but few year when I was actually still at a nine to five my mom had gone to a psychic or people that like tell you about the future stuff like that and they had said that I was going to I was gonna be a, a trader in the stock market and I was gonna be super successful at it and blah 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 she had came back and told me there was actually there's actually it's on a recording I'll see if uh, if she has it and I can share it on a future vlog maybe but she came back and told me I didn't think anything of it because I didn't even know what the stock market was at the time Like I knew nothing about it. I was so young and naive and like that's not something that ever interested me at the time and um, Lo and behold, I'm a trader now, but yeah, I, I was living at my mom's I locked myself in my room for a solid like I Didn't do anything for a solid like 11 or 12 months. The only things that I would do was work out I would go down the street to go and get a shawarma um, and just like get out go for a drive get some fresh air because I was literally just like locked in my bedroom all the time just studying the charts trading doing anything that I could do to learn something new in the market aka losing money because that's the only way that I was able to trade at the time demo accounts didn't exist finally after it was about a, like 11 and a half 12 months in is when the turning point happened and I started actually like it started clicking one day at a time everything started clicking that I had gone through everything started clicking that I was journaling because I had like a stack of books that were filled front to back literally every single line was filled up in the books with just notes and and mistakes that I had made and correcting the mistakes and this that the other around maybe the 10 10 month mark somewhere around the 10 month mark towards the end of that first year is when I came into Forex and I was, it was like love at first sight. I remember taking like my, I had opened up a brokerage account, a trading account. I took one or two trades that first day and it just like, it like clicked literally right off the bat. And ever since then, that's pretty much the only thing that I've stuck with. I haven't touched stocks since that first year. I haven't touched anything else other than Forex since that first year. And there was multiple reasons why I gravitated towards it. Obviously with stocks, if you're new to trading altogether, the biggest difference between stocks and foreign exchange is the leverage that you're given. With foreign exchange, some brokers will even give you up to like a thousand to one leverage, I think. But majority of them are like 400 to one, 500 to one. And that pretty much means that for every dollar that you have in the account, the broker will allow you to borrow or like leverage four or $500, depending on the leverage that you have worth of money. To be able to make more money right but it's obviously a double-edged sword if you're just as quickly as you can make money it's as quick as you can lose money if you don't know what you're doing and you're not doing it properly right so that's something that obviously made me gravitate towards foreign exchange in the forex market because it gave opportunities that other markets didn't right you didn't have to be a millionaire already you didn't have to have a hundred thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars you could have a couple hundred dollars and with a couple hundred dollars a few months in you can be making enough money to pay your bills and be living off of Forex if you're doing it properly and, and taking it serious and and hitting your marks and doing everything that you need to do right just being consistent being disciplined and taking the trades that you know that are gonna work so on and so forth whereas with stocks I think when I was in penny stocks I was at like one to one leverage obviously at the start and then it got bumped up to like two to one or three to one leverage and I was like happier than pig and shit I was so excited and so happy and then when I had like came into the Forex world it was just a whole different ball game. Um, not not never mind the, the leverage part, being able to trade any time of the day, having like the flexibility to trade any time of the day and not not being only stuck to one market like the New York Stock Exchange for example, whereas Forex it's open 24 hours, 5 days a week because it's always markets overlapping each other right, you have the London, the Australian, the Asian, the New York, they're all overlapping each other and before one finishes another one had already started so because of that it allows the market to just keep rolling 24 hours five days a week from Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard till Friday at 4 59 p.m. Eastern Standard the foreign exchange market is open so it's also the biggest 
market that there is in the world. I don't know what it's at now. It has to be well over these figures, but when I had gone, when I first started in Forex, like the New York Stock Exchange was only doing like 31 or $32 million a day. And foreign exchange does, at the time, it was doing like 5.7 or $5.8 trillion a day. It's both of those numbers, I'm sure the New York Stock Exchange and foreign exchange are both doing higher numbers per day. But that was something that was super appealing to me at the time as well, right? Just, just being in the biggest market in the world, having the most flexibility to be able to trade at any time that I wanted to trade five days a week and having the leverage to be able to make a decent living only off of a couple hundred dollars that I could afford to be putting in the account at a time, right? So I, I, I personally think that it's the best market. It's obviously not going anywhere because the only way that foreign exchange disappears if currencies just all disappear altogether. And even then, there's still always going to be one currency that the world functions off of, even if that was the case. So I think it presents a lot of opportunities if used properly. And if, nav if you navigate yourself through the market properly and you have the proper education and just the proper mindset, because your mindset, like you can have all the money in the world and, and the proper education, but if you don't know how to apply it properly and you don't have the proper mindset to be applying the things and be disciplined to know that like you can't be chasing trades, you can't be, you can't keep adding to your losing position, you don't change your stop loss. If you use the stop loss, you put a stop loss and you don't move it if the market comes near it because you don't want to get stopped out. If you get stopped out, oh well, you move on to the next trade. You don't have FOMO, fear of missing out, and you're taking trades just because you don't want to miss something that can happen. Like, to be honest with you, it's better to miss a trade and to not lose money than to have FOMO take a trade and lose money sim for the simple fact that um, you just didn't want to miss a trade, right? Like, there's, there's literally opportunities every single second that are passing in the market. There's always gonna be another trade. There's always gonna be another opportunity. There's so many different currency pairs. There's commodities. You can trade US 30, which is the Dow Jones. You can trade US 500, which is the S&P 500. You can trade gold, you can trade silver, you can trade cryptocurrencies, you can trade Bitcoin versus the US dollar. There's so many things that you can be trading. So there's always opportunities to be capitalized on. As long as you're doing it properly, you're doing it efficiently, you're doing it disciplined and you're doing what you know works and not making stupid mistakes that are gonna essentially cost you money at the end of the day, right? So I hope that this enlightened you and um, it shed some light about how, not really how Forex works, but why I got into it and why I feel like a lot of other people have gotten into it as well. I hope that it inspires you to make a change in your life, whether it's to become a trader or just follow your heart and do something that you wanna do. Don't be led to or don't be forced to do things that you don't want to do by your family or by peers or feel if you feel judged then if the, if the people around you are judging you then a they have something internally that they need to work on and b then maybe they're not the right people for you to be around right so always it's better to be alone than be in bad company so always be aware of your surroundings always be aware of the energy that you surround yourself with on that note i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i hope it brought some sort of insight on some level do what you got to do Chase your dreams, never give up on your dreams. Most times your dreams not gonna, your goals aren't gonna be achieved in the time frame that you want them to always. Sometimes they will, sometimes quicker, sometimes longer. But majority of the time when they don't happen the way you want them to, they're gonna happen 10 times better whenever it does happen. So just stay disciplined, be patient on your goals. I wish you guys all the best on whatever journey you take in life. And like always, don't forget to hit the like button, smash subscribe, turn on your bell notifications and share this video with someone that needs some inspiration. Even if they're not a trader or interested in trading, hopefully they can share some inspiration and motivation to chase after whatever they wanna do in life. I love you guys. I hope you had an awesome Monday wherever you are in the world and I will see you on Thursday for the next vlog. Peace.